It's another big box. It's a letter box B. It's already been opened. My wife thought it might be a Christmas present. I guess she found that it wasn't. <laughs> I haven't seen the contents yet, but I know what's in it. leads. So what we have here is a BK Precision 1630 power supply. And I believe it's rated 30 volts at 3 amps. It's not in bad shape. It's a little dirty here and there. 4 and 3 quarters including the feet, six and a half, and it's 11 inches deep from the deck to the top, not counting the knobs. It's four feet on the bottom. It is quite heavy. Perforated on both sides, top, and we have a heat sink, and I believe a shield because the transistors are probably above ground. Fixed line cord, which dates it. Phillips head screws, let's attack them. dusty inside, especially for a piece of equipment that has no fan. Uh, I should take it outside and hit it with an air compressor. Massive transformer. Very nice transformer. Two relays. Get this turned up here. There's two relays hidden down here. Couple of adjustments here, under here, 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 and here. I bought this on eBay. So I paid $50 and $25 shipping, $75 for this power supply. I bought it from this fellow, West Place LLC. If you follow my channel about 10 videos ago, I did a series on a 35 volt, 5 amp Chinese power supply. It was either copied from this, or it and this were copied from some other source. The reason I bought this particular supply is because B&K had an instruction manual. Now B&K didn't offer this, but somebody else did. And as a separate separate from the instruction manual was a PDF that included parts list and schematic. They were 
we're back to the uh, instruction manual now where there was calibration information. But the instruction manual did not include the parts list and more importantly the schematic. The thing that makes this supply nice is the fact that it's got a transformer with some separate windings on it. Everything below here is controls. There's a center tapped uh, 18018 winding. This is a bridge rectifier, that's the way they were identified years ago. And it provides a plus and minus 15 and a plus 24. The integrated circuits used to set voltage and current can actually be run off a plus and minus power supply. Next we have the power winding. Uh, this winding supplies the bridge rectifier, filter capacitors, a couple of uh, paralleled 2N3055 pass transistors and the output. So this is the power circuitry. This transformer is tapped, uh, one end is called zero, then it's tapped at six and a half, twenty, and thirty-two and a half volts. The pass transistors and the heat sink they're placed on has to dissipate the difference in voltage between here and here. Worst case is this voltage here is zero. So whatever this voltage is times three amps is the amount of heat that's dissipated here. Well, you say this is a 30 volt power supply. The voltage here must be in excess of 30 volts. Say 32, 33 volts. Zero volts here times 3 amps is 100 watts. But suppose we could get a maximum of 30 volts here, but this voltage was not 30 volts. It was six and a half volts here, six and a half volts times three amps, six and a half, zero, three amps. That's like 20 watts. But how do we get more than six and a half volts? Well, we have relays, and those relays select which of these transformer taps is going to provide the voltage here. The voltage here is monitored by the, both the voltage control regulating system and by this relay switching system. As the voltage desired or appearing here increases, the relays are switched higher and higher and higher to increase the voltage here. So that the heat sinking system only has to be designed for about 20 watts or two if the voltage here was 32 volts, zero, three amps, 100 watts. So these relays, there's two of them, I circled them here in red, are supplied by 24 volts. It's derived up here. And they're turned on and off as needed, switching this transformer as needed, based on the output voltage. This is exactly the same scheme and almost exactly the same wiring diagram that was used in the Chinese 
35 by 5 amp supply. Except for the fact that these two in 3055s were replaced with uh, tip 41Cs. And my version, I had to use two separate transformers. One to provide these taps, and a second one to provide the plus and minus uh, logic voltage and the uh, relay control voltage. So if you want a complete or a more complete explanation of how this works, you may go back and look at that series of videos I did. Let's see if it works. Okay, there's a date code right here of 90. 38. So it would be the 38th week of 1990. Power it on, see if it smokes. Nothing serious there. It says Thirty volts and listen very carefully. That's a relay kicking on and off. There'll be another one. Hear the relays? Goes up nicely to twenty volts, thirty volts. Fine adjust. Seems all right. I'm going to turn the current down. And you see, at the very bottom of the current scale, it folds back. I'm going to short it out now. doesn't supply any current. The ammeter is not working. Let's see why. Let's first of all see if we're getting any current. says I'm getting an amp and a half and I'm on the low amp setting I'm going to go to high it goes to three amps with, with the amps turned to, with the current knob sent to maximum so we are getting we actually are getting current <laughs> 